in the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Welcome to Islam for Dummies. Today, we will be talking about scientific facts regarding the expansion and description of the universe that were stated in the Quran 1400 years ago. It is important to point out that while it is not a science textbook, yet the Quran mentions numerous scientific facts long before they were discovered. First, we will examine some scientific facts about the universe and compare them to the Quran chapter 51 verse 47. But what's amazing is that in the entire universe, nothing is more powerful than the colossal explosion that created it all. The Big Bang. A seething mass of energy smaller than an atom grew from nothing. You're inside the Big Bang the birth of our universe, a violent fireball of unimaginable heat. Only the minutest fraction of a second had passed. But all of this was puny compared to what was about to happen. Propelled by a new surge of internal energy, the universe suddenly entered an incredible period of inflation. It expanded a hundred trillion, 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 trillion times. Whatever the universe was at the very beginning, some 13.7 billion years ago, we think it was tiny, an infinitesimal nugget of space. And then, something happened, triggering the most colossal explosion in history. In a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second, the universe grew from the size of that tiny point to something billions of miles across. This colossal blast created everything, all the matter we see in the universe today. When you look out at the universe and look at the other distant galaxies, you see that they're all fleeing away from us, that they're all moving outward at huge velocities. In summary, this verse correctly states two scientifically accurate facts about the universe. Number one, the might with which the universe was created. And the heaven, we built it with might. And number two, that the universe is still expanding. And we are indeed expanding it. Second, we will examine the false claim that this verse refers to the sky or atmosphere and not to the universe. Here is the false claim about the word al soma from chapter 51 verse 47. We have built the heaven with might, and we it is who make the vast extent thereof. Firstly, this verse is not talking about the universe, it's talking about the sky. As usual, this is simply another false claim, with no evidence whatsoever to support it. Quite the contrary, verse 7 of this same chapter uses the exact same term, al soma and both of its interpretations clearly refer to the universe and not the sky. Verse 7's first interpretation is By the heaven, with much interweaving. And the sky cannot be described as interwoven at all. Now, let's examine the Millennium Simulation conducted by the Millennium Run Project which is the largest ever simulation of the universe, as seen from the farthest distance possible, and looking closer inside, to see if the universe can be described as interwoven. The 
the universe does indeed appear to be extensively interwoven. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا Now, let's move on to verse 7's other interpretation, which is By the heaven, with many pathways. Now, let's see if the universe is full of pathways. Mass is a term used to describe the energy and matter that objects contain. The larger the mass of an object, the greater its distortion of the space-time fabric the stronger the effects of gravity. Gravity is not really a force. It's a fabric. It's a shape of space and time. And we just move along the curves of these shapes. And the act of doing so takes what would otherwise be a straight line to you and bends it into what you now describe as orbits as trajectories, as pathways through the cosmos. وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْحُبُكِ The universe does indeed have an uncountable number of such pathways. As a result, verse 7 confirms the correct context of al Soma in verse 47 that the universe was built with might. Furthermore, another marvel of the Koran is that the formal dictionary meanings of the single word who book both provide amazingly precise and different scientific descriptions of the interwoven appearance of the universe as well as the pathways of matter in space. In conclusion, the Quran chapter 51 verse 47 correctly states that the universe was built with might and that it is still expanding. The mighty creation and expansion of the universe are clearly stated in the Quran, while these scientific discoveries could not have been known 1400 years ago. Furthermore, in this chapter, the term al Soma clearly refers to the universe as confirmed by verse 7 which consequently provided two additional meticulously accurate descriptions of the universe that could not have been known 1400 years ago. It's not surprising that proving the miraculous meaning of one Quranic verse has led to additional scientific miracles because Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said about the Holy Quran and its wonders never cease. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this episode of Islam for Dummies, and we hope to see you again next time.